Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back and I have an interesting video for you. Today I want to talk about water disinfection and more specifically, let's just get right down to the point. I want to talk about sodium hypochloride. Now that's a fancy word for the commonly known household item called bleach. Now, we're going to use bleach today to purify or make this water drinkable. Now, this water is water that I got from a local source of water. It's fairly clear, so I'm going to use some bleach to make that drinkable, and I'm going to show you how I do that. So, what I'm going to use here is a little Visine eyedropper that I've ran out of Visine, and I've replaced this with bleach. Now, what I want to specify is when you buy the bleach, make sure that you buy the cheapest bleach that you can find. And the reason for that is because you only want the chemical. You don't want the special fragrances and scents and all that. All those things are is just added chemicals. And we don't want to be putting those into the water that we're going to be drinking. Okay? So buy the cheapest bleach. Now, when you find that, look at the back of the bottle of bleach and make sure that it says uh, the chemical name, sodium hypochloride. Now that will generally come in two different strengths. It'll come in 6% and it'll also come in 8%, but 6% is the one that I see most often. So the video today is going to be referencing the 6% solution of bleach. So again, I put that in this little this little eyedropper because I have 32 ounces here and the rule of thumb that I like to use for 32 ounces, which is 1 liter or one U.S. quart is two drops per quart or liter if the water is clear. You can see that I have it written on my bottle right there, two drops per quart or liter. Again, that is if the water is clear. This water is pretty clear, so we're going to come right here and we're going to give it two drops. One, two, and that's all it takes two drops. From here, I'm going to put the lid back on the bottle. I'm going to agitate this and I'm going to let it sit for 30 minutes. Then after 30 minutes, this solution, this water will be safe to drink. In the event that you get some water that's really dirty, okay, it's got a lot of debris in it, it's got a lot of sediment in it, what I would recommend on that is if you have a means of pre-filtering the water I would highly recommend doing that and there's several ways you can do that you can run them through a traditional filter which is going to take care of pretty much everything and make the water safe to drink so you wouldn't really need the bleach but you can run them through a napkin a paper towel your shirt your shema your bandana, your hat, you can get the water through something. A coffee filter works good. Anything to get the debris out of the water to put it into the bottle. Okay, so once you have the water in the bottle, if the water is still cloudy in color, we can no longer go by the two to four drops, uh, two drops ratio. We have to go up to the four drops because the water at this point is now cloudy. So we're going to double everything. We're going to double the amount of drops per liter or quart. So we would use four drops. We would agitate the water and now we'll double the time and we'll wait for one hour before that water is safe to drink. So that's all I have for you today. That's water purification or water disinfection with bleach, household bleach. Again, I can't stress it enough. Make sure that when you buy that bleach that you're buying the stuff that's fragrance free. We don't want those extra chemicals in our drinking water. Hope you got some good useful information out of this video. Please feel free to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.